So we have Janua running, the new fire thief that is the talk of the talk. And he is super fun to use and very powerful. I'm going to talk about if you guys should pull for him, how strong he is, and actually his artifact as well. I'm not going to actually show you guys any builds because he just came out. I'm still testing out builds and I want to give you the best build possible um, that will be the most efficient. So we're just going to talk about his skill kit really. And honestly, if you guys should go for him or not. Now he's not a limited unit, so he will rerun more frequently and he will be available most likely in the story summon later on. But this unit is pretty much similar to Kron and how he works with his passive. Uh, when you receive lethal damage, you'll grant immortality to yourself for one turn. Now there's a little bit of a change though. Kron gets evasion when this procs. Janua doesn't get evasion, but instead when he's attacked and gets hit to less than 50%, he will actually activate plan A. Now plan A is a full dispel from himself, so this is very powerful, you just dispel anything that's on you. Uh, Kron was really weak to debuffs, but plan A makes it so it doesn't matter. And also you become enraged, which gives you attack and speed. And rage just got buffed, so it's even stronger now. And you also see our push. So what happened with Kron before is he gets procced with his S2. Uh, you just strip off the immortality or whatever, and he just dies, right? Well, Janua has a full cleanse on himself, so you can't even disable him really. He actually will get enraged, so he gets boosted speed and attack, and he gets a combat readiness push, so he's most likely going to take that next turn, uh, because you won't really build him that fast, right? I think most Janua's are best at like 180-ish speed, so you can actually cut with this. Um, but very powerful ability, pretty much guarantees you get your next turn off. Also guarantees you won't get you know disabled for it with like a blind, a silence, or like a stun. And so his S3 here, Bite, it is a single target attack that will heal him, which makes it so that you know if you get hit low, you can heal up again with your S3. Now, Plan A's cooldown is pretty long at four turns, so you can't proc this all the time, but in really long fights, you can actually proc it twice. And this S3 hits like a truck, penetrates target's defense, it can go you know upwards of like 20k damage on squishy targets. And when you crit with this, this will deal additional damage proportional to Genua's attack to all enemies except for the target, and the heal will also scale with your attack. Um, honestly, this extra damage that splashes, it's very low. I think it hits like 2k or something, 3k, so it's not really that high. The main point in this ability is actually the single target effect that penetrates full defense, and it just does a ton of damage. If you look at his S1, you can see that this is one of the most broken S1s in the game. When you S1, you get an attack buff. If you soul burn it for 10 souls, you get greater attack buff. And when you're enraged, which happens with your S2, you will actually use your S3 as an extra attack, straight up. And the S3 will be just completely the same, it penetrates defense, uh, does splash damage. So what you'll end up doing, most likely, is you proc your S2, you get CR pushed up, you get rage. And then what you do is you soul burn your S1 for creator attack buff, and then your S3 will proc after, and this does a crap ton of damage. Uh, very, very strong, and it's just basically one of the most broken S1s in the game. You just S1 into S3. Now, because this only works with Enrage, you can only do this twice, uh, and then you have to regular S3 after, and you won't have that greater attack buff because it's only one turn or attack buff. But honestly, using your S3 uh, three times in a row when it hits that hard seems pretty broken, no? Uh, so it's definitely one of the most strongest you know skill kits i'd say in the game it seems pretty insane for a new unit and he's just way better than kron right kron's damage yes it's very good but kron's s3 does less damage than Janua's s3 by far uh, of course kron has that aoe damage which is very good at cleaning up squish units but Janua has way more front loaded single target damage and self-sustain which makes it so that he can actually live after you know getting immortality up he can heal himself up uh, whereas kron just kind of dies and you know his single target damage is pretty bad and because Janua's AoE, uh, not AoE, his, his damage is mostly single target, you don't run the risk of proccing so many counterattacks, right? Because uh, you're actually going to be, you know, just focusing down one target, and you have less chances for Elbrus to proc but against, like, Abyssu Fine. Um, I guess Abyssu Fine doesn't run it, but mostly Navy Captain Landy, right? So, uh, yeah, very good unit. Definitely one of the most powerful, not one of the most powerful, but definitely above average for PvP. Honestly, I think if more units come out that synergize with this Enrage effect, you might see him a lot more often and he'll be like almost broken tier because um, honestly if you run him on a bruiser build and you just have perma like rage on him that just sounds insane right kind of like ml Willis's vigor if you have something that can give rage to your team which probably will come out in the future i think this unit will be even more stronger than he already is now for his artifact dark blood keeper this artifact i think it was a lot more um better in theory and that's because this artifact gives you attack, which is very nice, gives you more healing and splash damage and just damage in general. Uh, but also it uses uh, non-attack skills, so if you actually use a non-attack skill, which is basically his S2 only, you'll get a barrier equivalent to up to 70% of your attack, and that can be granted once every 3 turns. 
So when you proc this immortality, you'll get a fat barrier, which will make you even stronger. Uh, but honestly, it just feels like you want him on more damage. I think the best artifact for him, because he's a thief, you know, it's going to be something like a Wind Rider because it gives him, uh, I think it gives him the same attack. It might be even more. And yeah, it goes pretty much the same. Um, actually, it goes higher because it scales with the artifact level. And you also will get increased attack um, when you kill a unit. So uh, it's very good on him because he's you know usually one-shotting units with his S1 into S3. And that increased attack stacks with this greater attack buff. And he also gets stealth. So it makes it so that he can't get focused down. Wind Rider is definitely probably going to be one of his better artifacts. Of course, you can just run him on his own artifact and should be good as well. I think Janua is pretty much a must-pull. He's super strong in the current meta, way better than his other banner that's running Lulbeth. Um, very fun to use, honestly. And even if you don't really find a good use for him, he's always going to be a very strong anti-cleave unit, no matter what, because of this S2. And a lot of people worrying because if you look here, uh, actually Hoochie's gone, but Hoochie's shop was here. People were saying there's a lot of banners to come, which is probably true, but honestly, I think Janua just looks too fun and too strong to uh, hold down on. If you guys really want to be conservative, what you guys can actually do is wait until the end of his banner and see if other banners are announced in the future to make your decision. But yeah, pretty much it for this video. Definitely a strong unit, definitely fun to use. And I'll have a stats video, build video, and actually showcase some PvP also when we actually get to test them out more. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.